okay, we're excited. We found a house that we like that meets your criteria, and you're going to make an offer. Here's what happens next. You are going to work with your agent to draw up a contract that spells out the terms, price, settlement dates, specific items that convey, any conditions or contingencies. You'll decide on what type of earnest money you're going to, uh, what kind of deposit you're going to offer along with the contract. You're going to want to choose an amount that conveys seriousness, but also puts your offer in a favorable light without breaking the bank. Now, of course, the earnest money will all, only be deposited if the contract is accepted, and if you end up, if we end up exercising any of our contingencies, the financing, the home inspection, uh, then the earnest money will be refunded. Now, the, your agent's going to connect with the listing agent to prevent the offer and contract based on how he or she is receiving offers. And within a reasonable amount of time, and you all will specify how long an offer is live, the listing agent will then get back to you uh, with one of three answers. Rejection, acceptance as is, or a counter offer, which technically is a re rejection of your first offer, and it's a new offer. And if they accept it as is, we've got a ratified contract, and we start the next series of events. If they counter, we'll have to review their changes to the contract to decide whether those terms are acceptable to us. When they counter, we now have the same options that they did, rejection, acceptance as is, and counteroffer, which is a rejection of their offer and our new offer.